What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, I said a while back that I was going to start doing these small gigapan searches. Well, here we are. We'll be doing some for curiosity as well as perseverance. So I'm going to show you a couple rocks in here that are really bizarre looking. And as I've said before, I don't believe a lot of these are rocks at all. Now, are there rocks in these photos? Absolutely, of course. But some of the rocks, and I think you'll agree that mm, they don't look like rocks. They are using rock mimicking software, or as Jimmy likes to say, rockified. And he's correct. It's AI probably changing whatever's intelligently made to make it look like a rock. But some of the things are so obvious, you go, I know rocks are like snowflakes. There's never one quite the same. But when you see these, you just go, okay, something's not right. And some things in these hillsides and laying about that, again, just don't look like rocks. Let's just get right into it, shall we? All right, you can see it right here. It is Perseverance 369Z by Neville Thompson. Thank you, Neville Thompson, for your endless work. We appreciate you. And you can see right here, the date added was March 19th, 2022. Okay, so we're talking just recently, this was put on here. Now, you guys will all recognize this area uh, when we get in this. You can see that so-called hill right here in the middle, right? But we're gonna start from the left side, and we'll work our way over and just to show you guys a few things I find really interesting. Again, folks, there's a lot of things in there I don't believe that are simply rocks. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Let's just get into this closer. All right. Let's start here on the left-hand side. Don't have to do a whole lot. Like this rock here in the center of the screen. What is going on with that thing? Look at the shape of that. Okay. Doesn't look very natural at all. Has like a line and design to it right there. That's pretty interesting. We have this white part up here just above it and to the right. You can see we're on the upper right part of this white part. It's been colored brown. So they're trying to hide whatever's in this photo, right? Back out a little bit. Folks, we know that Mars had some kind of catastrophic event. Whether they destroyed themselves, someone else destroyed them, whatever the case is, you can see this on many of these photos, whether it's just plain as day right there in your face, or we pull it out of the photo. Of course, they try hard to hide this stuff, but a lot of times you can drag this stuff out, right? Now, here, look at this mess right here in the middle of the screen. It looks like more of a... Like they tried to blend in parts to make it look like one big part. Uh, right here, you can see what looks like a straight edge, kind of a gray piece and gold right there. See that? You see it's it's got a corner right here to it. We'll zoom in as much as we can. Right here in the middle of the screen, you can see that. It's got a seam right here up the center. And then we have this what looks like a rectangular block going right here to the slightly to the back. This all right here, folks, this is all fake dirt. You can just see the way it's digitized in there, right? When I see hills like this, I see what looks like a junk pile. I see junk laying around. Right here, you can see we're kind of going around this rock. It looks like this piece is like around it. Almost like if you could wrap a piece of sheet metal around something, right? You can see right here on the left-hand side, it's kind of this, you know, whitish kind of slight gold color right there. A lot of stuff in here is very ornate. It just doesn't make sense. Just look at some of this stuff here, folks. Look at this rock right here in the back. I'll put it right in center. Look at the way that thing's shaped. It looks like it has this vertical opening right here on the right-hand side of it. Or at least it's a darker feature, one of the two. Looks like it has a small black dot right there, as well as just what looks like a line going up the center of it there on the right. See that? Yeah, I would love to see these photos untouched, non-censored, you name it. I'd love to see the real deal on these. And folks, I've said this a million times. I don't think people would be freaked out about it. Look at this object right here. Almost looks like there's like a octagon shape right here with a circle inside of it. See that? been hidden a little bit. You can see it, but they digitize. You can see the lines in here where they want to try to fool the eyes. See it? But right there looks like something round inside what looks like a half of a 
octagon piece there. Like I said, I'm just going to show you guys a few pieces in here. And then, of course, we can always do a second part to this. Of course, you guys will get the link. You know that. And uh, you can have a look at it yourself. And if I do a second part on here, you guys may be saying, yeah, yeah, I've seen the rest of this, and it looks awesome, and this is what I saw. Uh, this piece right here, look at these pieces. This white one right here in the center of the screen looks like it's almost like the other one we just looked at, where on the right-hand side it has this vertical opening right there. See that? Just above the cursor there. Pretty cool. We got one up here. Look at this rock up here. This, I'm not sure what to make of that. Way in the background right here, we have like this pile of so-called rocks. And again, it looks like an opening or something there on the right-hand side. See that right there? Sometimes you'll find me going back a little bit because I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Of course, I'm looking for the things that really, really stand out. Now, you folks might find something and go, oh, Chris, you totally missed this. And I, I might have, but I'm just going after the larger objects or things that really, really appear to be intelligently made and not just simply a rock, right? Just some really weird looking objects, right? And like I said, they're using a software that literally return anything that looks intelligently made into just a simple rock, right? And I think we all know better than that since we've been doing this for quite a long time and how they really do go about hiding what's really in these photos, right? There's something in these other hillsides. Let me show you this. This is really, really interesting too. Check out these two disc-like objects right here. I'll put them right here in the middle of the screen. Now to me, folks, that there is totally unusual. Right there, there's one on the left and one to the right. You can almost see the whole thing of this one on the right and at least half to almost three quarters of one here on the left. What could that possibly be, folks? Again, when I look at this, I see a junk pile. I don't see rocks. Especially when you see objects like this sticking out of a hillside. It just doesn't make sense, right? You can see right here it's been manipulated. It's just kind of like a mush right there in the center. These two would look like these kind of skinny rocks and it has this black border or something like that right in front of it. Or is that something they put there to try to hide what's really there? But it almost appears to have this black rectangular piece in the front. And then if you look in the back, it almost looks like it's the second half uh, to the front. See how it's like straight and you can see the end right here on the left. Almost looks like it's doing that in the back, like there's a back plate or something like that on the other side of these so-called rocks, right? Really, really cool stuff here, folks. If you just glance at these things, you'll never see it. Stop, have a good look. You can see where they messed around with the sand. You can see how they really messed with this photo. Really wild looking objects. And I call them objects because I don't believe that they're all rocks. And again, I know you guys feel the same way. We've done way too many videos of these areas. And of course, this is perseverance. And this is, this is like new stuff right here, folks. And we've seen so much in here that we know for a fact that this is being covered up, right? Like this object here. You can see this fake dirt right here. Look at this. Completely fake right here in the middle of the screen. I'll put up a little higher. Right about here. That's all completely fake. It looks like you can see something sticking out at the very top here. Look at the shape of this darkened area or black area. Might be just an opening to something, but look at that. Comes up on the right, has an angle to the left, straight across. Of course, it looks like there's something sticking up in that area. Goes straight across, back down at a left angle, dropping down, and then straight down. What are the chances of that thing being natural? Look on the left-hand side of it. It's also echoing the same shape right here. Comes up on an angle, on the left angle, going straight across, and then coming back down right there on the right angle. Same thing like the front. It's doing that on the left-hand side. Hmm. What are the chances of that? That's how you know the stuff is either A, buried, or most likely it's probably being hidden. It's being censored in so many different ways. Look at this. We got what looks like a block right here. Look at the nice shop corners. You can actually see very faintly on the very bottom corner, but you can see it. Going straight up and then back down, right? Really, really cool stuff here, folks. That's why I don't believe, and I never have, that this is all natural environment. It's just simply not. Right here, it looks like we have another pile of junk. 
Just look at that. It's not very clear, but you can see that. Check that out. Again, looks like another Martian junk pile. But there you go, folks. Pretty interesting stuff, right? As usual, you folks will get the links to this. You know that. That's how we roll on this channel. Folks, when you look at these photos or these gigapans, if you just peruse over them quickly, don't see a whole lot, do you? That's simple rocks, right? Take your time, look at each of these so-called rocks, and you'll find things sometimes sticking out of the rocks. Sometimes you'll find the rock has just got this extremely weird look where you go, okay, that clearly looks like it's been censored, something doesn't look right. You can pretty much tell, right? You can tell a fake rock from a real rock. It doesn't have to be a certain shape, but it has a texture on it, and you can just tell it looks fake. But like always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, we got more coming up. In fact, folks, we have another GigaPan coming up next, so stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, folks.